We were in Shelton once. <laughs> Using the restroom gas station. Yeah. So we're there. We're waiting outside it. And um, these guys in this big truck pulled up, and they said, "They said, you boys are in Shelton, so beware." Dude, I spent some time in Shelton uh, for Christmas. Yeah, because that's where that's where these guys live, and uh, most of my family lives. And I I heard this story a couple weeks ago. I wanted to share a little Shelton story right here Shelton as we get going. Story. At first, I looked it up online and I couldn't find much to corroborate, so I wasn't sure if it was true. And then I but then I went with a little secondhand. Well, I know the guy who's the dog catcher, and so I feel like this is valid. My brother lives there. He's friends with the guy whose dad is the dog catcher. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is about as solid as you're going to get. Okay, this guy's a he's he's from a cop, the horse's mouth, as it were, but. He's an animal cop. And uh, he also, I believe, sells real estate. So if you're in the market, look up uh, Bob Dunlap. <laughs> nice. Um, so what happened was there's a there's a large timber mill in Shelton, the Simpson Timber Mill. Ooh. And a lot of the guys that I went to high school with are probably working there this evening, graveyard shift. Lovely. And uh, – this guy gets out of his truck. He parks his truck at the at the mill. He gets out, and there's this Rottweiler going bananas, which is like, okay, whatever. Like, the guy thinks it has rabies, and he's trying to kind of sure, get away right. from it. He's yelling right. at it and stuff, and it comes up and bites him, and he's like, oh, holy crap. I just got – I mean, this big, mean dog yeah. bites this dude for no reason. And so he calls the cops, and he, you know, I guess he gets back in his truck or whatever, and, hey, you got to get down here. There's this dog going crazy. It bit me. I think it, I heard it bit – you know, he – they had gotten a report that it bit somebody else, so they called... Just running dog. around town biting people. <laughs> it's, yeah. Damn it's it. It's Shelton, dude. That's the reason. I used to wonder why people had those super jacked up 4x4s, but it's so that, <laughs> to avoid the crazy, rabid Rottweilers. Uh-huh. Um, they call the dog catcher to come down and take care of it, mm-hmm. but he's on vacation. Mm. And so the regular cops have to show up. Both of the regular cops show up. <laughs> and they actually tase the Rottweiler... Whoa. It doesn't work. Dog's still <gasps> going, try, trying to kill them, so they what? kill it. They shoot it twice sure. with the, the service revolver, and it dies. So what happens is um, every time an animal possibly has rabies, they have to – apparently Rob's dad, Bob, <laughs> says <laughs> that they cut the animal's head off and send it into a lab to get tested for rabies so that the person who was bitten knows what? if they what? need to get treated for rabies. Wait a second. I don't know. Wait. I don't know. Animals – Really? That's they what, kill animals and, and cut their heads off. That this is what I, this may just be something in Mason County. I think <laughs> it, it seems like they could take, do a blood draw That's and maybe do that, yeah, but yeah. maybe they need the whole brain right there. I don't know. The point is <laughs> negative for rabies. Lab results come back positive for methamphetamine. What, dude? <laughs> what, dude? Rottweiler on meth. Dude, dude, Rottweiler got into its owner's meth lab and oh. ate a bunch of meth and went buck fucking wild. Oh my god, that's the scariest situation imaginable. It sounds like it sounds like a figure of speech, like and I think I might start using it actually like a Rottweiler on meth. So of course they call up the owner and they're like, "Hey, your your dog, you know, can we talk?" <laughs> Got into your ice, yeah, pal. And so they show up, of course, like at his house, and Tina, there's right? a full on meth lab, and they bust the dude. Oh my god, that I, there's nothing scarier, dude, than a Rottweiler on on crystal meth. Like maybe if like just it was people. throwing knives, <laughs> just people. If you, I don't know if any of you oh. know have have been around a person on meth, but they're a lot like Rottweilers. And <laughs> if you give meth to a Rottweiler, I can't. I can't imagine. Oh my god! Anyway, watch out.